biggest worry um, is not COVID and it is not uh, even climate, it's the biodiversity loss. Because we are one planet, there is no planet B, and, and basically this whole na natural system is the system that makes it possible for us as humans to live on this planet. We must work on our natural capital, eh, to, to live of the interest and not of the capital. So what we do now is we destroy the capital, and then eventually we have nothing. My name is Louise Vett. I speak now as a chair of the Biodiversity Recovery Plan, a Delta Plan for Biodiversity Recovery that we started in the Netherlands. And that is really to green the Netherlands um, in every respect. The idea is that we have all the technology and the knowledge to just do it our way. And I think that is an incredible misconception because we're part of an ecosystem and we're now ruining it. And uh, basically we're ruining it for us because this planet will go on. It started a lot some 10,000 years ago when agriculture started and, and our population um, was rising. It was the start where we sort of set the scene or tried to set the scene, you know, to make it easier for us and to provide uh, many, many more people with food, which was apparently a great thing. That also uh, disconnected us from nature. People are disconnected from nature when they live in cities. They have no idea where their food comes from. In our agricultural areas and in our open space, in our cities, uh, we, we still see a loss of biodiversity, tremendous loss in birds and plants and insects. We feel uh, with many societal partners to, to change that vision. We have to green our cities. We, we do not have to carry our food all over the world. A lot of it can be produced local. We can reduce that transport uh, a lot uh, if we bring food in and around the cities much more. Instead of spreading produce all over the world, we should have a more local production, but with the best knowledge of doing that in a more nature-inclusive way. If we can produce food this way, in, in, in a very high productive way, but very sustainable, the Netherlands, basically, if you look at the surface area and the number of people living there, we are a metropole with here and there green, very nice green, and have biodiversity recovery all over, greening the cities. Uh, we have a beautiful example for every metropole in the world. So I think that is very important that we think about the design of nature-inclusive cities where pr food production can take place as well. I also see a big role for the, the close surroundings of where people actually live for food production. Because the, then we get the connection again with our food yeah, between, between consumers and, and farmers. 